and the total value of commodities traded uh, on the Apex Commodities Exchange for the week of the 23rd of February to the 1st of March uh, went up by 50% to 3.6 billion naira. In 194 deals, the number of contracts also increased uh, by 193,899, up 48%. Uh, for details here, uh, let's talk to uh, Michael Martins, now Portfolio uh, Manager at Apex. Hello, Martins. Great to have you. Hi, Ladi. Good morning. Great Good to morning. have you too. Good morning. So uh, take us uh, through the trading activities uh, in the week under review. All right. Thank you. So if you look at the week under review, the commodities market was sufficiently green, right? If you look at the total value of transactions executed on the exchange, it went up by 50% from 2.4 billion naira to 3.6 billion naira. Um, the total number of contracts traded on the exchange also went up by 48% from around 130,000 contracts to more than 193,000 contracts for the week under review. Uh, the total number of deals did significant numbers, posting more than 128% from the previous week's uh, 85 deal um, to close the week under review at around 194 uh, deal. The ACI and the AEI also did positive numbers over the course of the week, posting 3.55% and 1.79% over the course of the week. And I must say that this is the second consecutive positive week for the Apex Export Index. Uh, with regards to volume, we generally had a higher volume traded this week in, in comparison to the previous week, uh, with maize, sorghum and ginger being the major corporate uh, in, the week of, in the week on the review. Uh, with regards to price, uh, the commodities market, like I said earlier, was sufficiently green. Uh, we saw the biggest numbers in commodities like maize, uh, soybean, and ginger posting returns of 5.13%, 16.25%, and 4.56% uh, over the course of the week. Uh, with regards to losers uh, in the commodities market, we only saw that with regards to cocoa, which lost only a marginal 0.89% over the course of the week to close at 103,400 uh, uh, per contract. Um, the only other asset under consideration is the fair trade exchange traded commodity, which also went up marginally over the course of the week, um, growing up by 0.83% to close at 14,306 uh, naira uh, per contract. So I, I believe that's by and large all of what happened in the commodities market um, in the week on the review. All right, Michael, you talked about um, all the indices, of course, being in the green in the past um, two weeks. So what mm -hmm. factors would you attribute to, to that um, sentiment we saw there? Um, so if you look at the weighting of the indexes, um, so we have the ACI, uh, which contains maize, soybean, paddy rice, and sorghum, and they're weighted 58%, uh, 14%, 20%, and 8%, uh, respectively. And with the AEI, we also have weights of 62% for cocoa and 38% uh, for ginger. And the reason why they are weighted thusly is because of number one, and the number of demand that we have for these commodities and the exchange on a day-to-day -day basis and even on a weekly basis. And also, secondly, would also be to consider the volume of production uh, for these commodities, um, which is one of the reasons why they're imputed uh, into the index at the end of the day. So uh, does the CBN uh, recent adjustment of the official exchange rate affect activities uh, on the commodities market? Um, not particularly. Uh, we see the recent uh, CBN adjustment from 390 uh, naira to a dollar to 410 naira. Uh, to four ten naira to a dollar, uh, we see it as them adjusting to the realities of the foreign exchange uh, market. Uh, however, historical data would also suggest um, that there is a fair bit of correlation between the commodities market and the exchange rate, particularly the parallel market. However, since the adjustment by the central bank, we haven't seen any significant movement in the parallel market. And that would indicate, by and large, that the commodities market has already adjusted in terms of prices um, to reflect previous sentiments of inflation and then GDP uh, numbers. On the other hand, the CBN adjustment could also be seen as an attempt by the central bank to promote export. But whether or not that, uh, uh, but whether or not that eventually happens, uh, time will tell. All right. Now, we, we have seen um, the current trend in the food market where food commodities that are supposed to come to the south from the north are being blocked um, and, and the north mm -hmm. there. So where can the commodities exchange play a role in all of this? Because a lot of um, those um, food commodities seem to be perishing on the way. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so if you look, if you look at what is currently going on um, in the market, um, like you, like you earlier alluded to, uh, most of the uh, most of the issues that we're seeing right now, particularly concerns directly perishable goods. I believe that most people who are selling these products are having issues moving them to the south, the south, like you said, are having to sell them at rock bottom prices. I mean, even rumors that we're hearing from the northern part of the state suggest like a bas that a basket of tomato is going for around 700 or 800 naira. As regards um, as regards uh, commodities that are traded on the exchange, commodities that are traded on the exchange tends to have um, a longer shelf life, uh, meaning that they can sort of wade through, uh, um, they can sort of wade through the idiosyncrasies of the crisis that we're currently having uh, in the market. Uh, as regards what the exchange does, is that when you trade on the exchange, you're essentially guaranteed quality and quantity, regardless of where you're buying from, as opposed to you just buying from the open market. Because what the buyers and sellers are having to do now is they're having to make really core business decisions as regards whether or not they're going to hold this commodity uh, and, and face you know quality decline over 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 a period of time or particularly just sell their commodities at whatever price they can get it in the market that is available to them as regards how it has affected the activities of the exchange um, I, I believe the only issue we're currently having right now is logistics and moving it, uh, moving commodities from uh, from the north to the south but we believe that the issue would be rectified uh, before too long Okay. Now, but let me just ask this question. These perishable uh, commodities, is there a okay. way they can be traded on the uh, commodities exchange? Perhaps for um, companies that are, for instance, like tomatoes, uh, for companies that can use it mm -hmm. for tomato pastes? Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a lot of that, we're currently investigating uh, the possibility of doing that. Um, I, I believe my colleague uh, coming after me would also speak to uh, another, another commodity that we're listing uh, recently, which is cashew. Uh, mm -hmm. But as regards how they particularly can be traded on the exchange, that's a very difficult question to answer. Um, a lot of it, like I said, uh, would have to depend on how well we can store these commodities uh, uh, over, over a long period of time and whether or not we can start using certain chemicals to preserve their quality over a long period of time so that we, at the end of the day, being the counterparty to those transactions can sustainably guarantee their quality and quantity and but like I said earlier that's a very difficult question to answer particularly for perishable uh, particularly for perishable goods all right thank you very much uh, Michael okay um, let's uh, have um, Hermes Oka uh, the vice president commercials at Apex uh, join us now to talk about this new commodity that is being included in the Apex commodities exchange and that is um, cashew thank you very much uh, Hermes for joining us on the program and good morning thank you very much for having me Okay, you currently added cashew to the products traded on your platform. What determines the inclusion of agro commodities for trade on the exchange? Yeah, so a lot goes into listing a commodity on the exchange. Um, for us, we take about two, three years before we evaluate, make a lot of mistakes and learn. But it comes down to supply and demand, it comes down to Apex's ability to have an impact and finally, the future potential that we see in the commodity. Um, cashew, cashew is growing, right? We see strong demand continue to come out of India and Vietnam, followed closely by China for the commodity. Um, the supply chain locally is quite robust. Uh, majority of it comes from Kogi states, with also high quality coming out of Ogbomosho. And finally, we still think that Apex warehouse infrastructure, as well as our technology, can play a role. And down the line, um, there's a lot of volatility that comes with trading cashew. We, we believe we can develop a futures product that can add to any stakeholder's risk mitigation strategy once they're playing in the space as well. So all these factors combine and let us know that um, this is the right time to go into cashew. So uh, one of the key benefits of the commodities exchange is to bring on board a price uh, discovery. Uh, so let's talk a bit about the price uh, data of uh, cashew. How was the performance of cashew? How has it been uh, in the past uh, three years? So it's definitely been, been challenging, right? Um, corona and the pandemic impact um, has, has, cannot be understated here. Um, so we've seen huge price volatility in the market. Um, each year we've seen swings about 60% uh, or so. Um, but this does create an opportunity for, for trade as well. Um, currently, the price for international price for cashew is listing around um, $1,300. 
uh, Nigeria will be trading at a discount of that too. So probably around the range of uh, $1,100 or so. So how can the market participants plug into this um, new um, commodity? Correct. So, you know, in given the current economy that, that we all live and operate in, um, there is this drive for, for earning hard currency. And so we see a lot of players come into the space um, wanting to participate. Oh, okay. Now, for this cashew now, when are we supposed to see um, perhaps the pricing come on board? Uh, so, so it's now. We, our, our spot market trades and tracks um, the real season. Um, so season starts uh, end of February, goes till about May or so. Uh, so you can find, we'll be listing cashew shortly within the week or so to follow the trends in the market. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hemense Orca, Vice President, Commercials, FX um, Commodities. We take a moment. We'll be back.